Kirsten Manswell. Coming in here at 22 and 5. It was 20, no, he was really being fast tracked a couple of years ago. And then in some high level fights, he started to lose. It's something that just happens in this game. You reach a certain level, you can't go any further. So now, as he shows you the Tony Dorsett jersey from football, he'll try to come up with an instant turnaround. Lost five of his last seven. As he awaits Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has never been forced past four rounds in his career. And the hope of the people putting this fight together is that he'll get some rounds tonight. We shall see. There is Mark Breland, his trainer, and great fighter in his own right. A welterweight champion and a five-time New York Golden Gloves champion. Also, like Wilder, a U.S. Olympian. He won the gold medal at, in Los Angeles in the 1984 games. So who better to learn from? Olympian to Olympian. Exactly. And if you look at Breland's frame, he was tall for his weight class as well, like Wilder is taller than all his opponents. Long, lanky frame. Well, they have a lot of things in common, at, uh, and I'm sure Breland is uh, sharing that knowledge with Deontay now that he's working with him and training him. All right, fighters are in the ring. Let's meet them. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from Civic Center here in Mobile, Alabama, it is time for the main event of the evening. Ten rounds scheduled in the heavyweight division. Presented by Golden Boy Promotions, the Mobile Sports Authority, and the Fox Sports Networks. And sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, and DeWalt. With their new 20-volt max brushless technology, they are guaranteed tough. The three judges scoring this bout at ringside. Jeff Dodson, David Toronto, and John Westerter. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action for this main event, Keith Hughes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready and the fighters are ready. Mobile, make some noise if you are ready! <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black, trimmed in white, he weighed in officially 251 pounds. This ring veteran brings an outstanding record, 22 victories, including 17 knockouts and just five defeats from Charlottesville, Trinidad. Here is Kurtzen, the Warrior Manswell. And next his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing bronze trunks, he weighed in 228 and one half pounds. As a professional, he is perfect in the ring. 23 bouts, 23 victories, 23 knockout wins. From Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the 2008 U.S. Olympic bronze medal winner. Here is the undefeated bronze bomber, Deontay. This week, Manswell said that uh, this would be the death of Deontay Wilder. He took some exception to it, so maybe we're carrying that over into this a little bit. Yeah, no love lost between these two guys. What a stare down. And Manswell took the fight on a week and a half notice, so he got the rivalry going quickly. He's looking to come out even before the bell rings. Well, you just get the sense that something is going to fly early here. Let's see. Could be interesting. Wilder has not had to go past four rounds. Well, on paper, it's a, it's a bit of a step up for Deontay. 
see how he handles Manswell. Manswell replacing the original opponent for Wilder. Was expected to give him, according to Match Baker, a fairly tough time. Got some heat this week from Emmanuel Stewart saying that uh, he wants to see Manswell in some tougher fights because he's a very good fighter. You want to see Wilder? Uh, Wilder, fight, yes. Yeah. Wilder in some uh, bigger fight because he's a very good fighter. Yeah, well, he definitely is. And his bronze medal at the Olympics shows that. Seems like here he's, you see, you see the, the Breland impact on Deontay's. Try, he's trying to establish the jab. Mark Breland, one of the best jabs you'll see back in his time. You know, yeah. You see Wilder trying to establish his own left jab knowing he's got the height. Here's Manziel. You know, Breland with the big jab and a huge right hand behind it. In his fights and working with Wilder. 84 wrenches. What an imposing reach. And yet for Manswell, not that bad of a reach disadvantage. Uh, 81 himself. Usually 84. It's terrible. Oh, as he gets nailed. Great. And here comes the Wilder Express. Manswell down. He said something explosive could happen early. It has. Well, they got excited after the knockdown. Let's see how Manswell comes back. Let's see if he can survive the follow up here. Can Manswell tie up or is Wilder going to do what he's been doing? Jam, big right hand for Wilder. Down goes Manswell again. Even though it's no three knockdown rule, a third knockdown in the round probably would end it. Manswell seemed to complain that if it was a push. It seemed to be a half a push, but he probably needed the, re the, the rest anyway. Manswell walking in here, not tying up. So he's not buying himself any time. Now he ties up which is what he wants to do. He seems to have his legs back under him. I think the second knockdown didn't really clean, although those did really clean. There he goes again. Now he goes for the third time, and that's a it. Stoppage. So even though, yeah, we show it to you time and again, there is no three knockdown rule, there is still a three knockdown guidance to referees. You see three knockdowns in a round, they will usually call it. And that is time that Deontay Wilder, baby. So Deontay Wilder, yeah. All the Wilder again. And you know, you get the sense that it's probably the last time we'll see him at a level like this. We're probably going to see him moving up now. There just will be a demand for it. Yeah, he's, he's ready. He's ready to step it up. Uh, ready to uh, fa face some high, high level, world, world class opposition. Um, you know, a stoppage like this over a guy like Manswell. Manswell, you know, he'd gone the distance with guys like Cedric Boswell and Ruslan Shigayev. I mean, those are those are solid guys. Shigayev at one time even held a world title. He'd gone rounds with those guys. For Deontay to get him out, out of there in one round and just utterly destroy him, I mean, he, he never let Manswell into the fight. So, so it, 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 there will be a demand as you hear, as you see the, the Alabama crowd, the Alabama crowd appreciating their men. There will be a demand for him to step it up next. Now let's take a look and see how he did this so quickly. There's that big left hook that gets it started. And terrific power. Even when he squared up, Paul, he was able to knock him down. Yeah, I think the, the initial hook did all the damage. Um, Manswell came up after, after, after slipping the right hand. He comes up, you see, and he gets caught with a follow-up left hook. That's why they teach these young fighters, it's always important to follow up your right hand with a left hook. Picture perfect by Deontay Wilder. Threw the right hand. He missed it, but the follow-up left hook got his man. All right, so the heavy favorite that he was, he fought to form. Took care of Manswell right away. You see a knockdown from a squared up position. That was impressive. And then it would keep on going. Yeah, he just didn't let his opponent off the hook. This is a guy that had a big 2007, 2008 National Golden Gloves Championship, U.S. Championships, a guy ticketed for stardom back five years ago. And now moving into a spot where we're going to probably see him against top 15 guys. And here he is finishing. Manswell are continuing the damage. Again, oh, this is the follow-up. This is a second knockdown. It didn't seem to land very clean. Manswell still, I, don't, I think he was still trying to regain his legs. Um, even if it didn't land clean, he, he went down again. I think he was still hurt from the first knockdown, honestly. As you can see, it didn't land very clean, but he went down. Just the force of the, of the shot, even if it didn't land clean. Manswell never got his legs back after the uh, the first knockdown. They, they, you know, he he he, he never recovered. Well, Manswell in over his head as Wilder taking care of a guy. You take a look at Mark Breland, his daughter in here. Did a nice job here. Comes in and does what he has to do against the opponent. He 
and here's a last knockdown. Manswell trying to get away from, from the coming onslaught, just didn't know where to turn. Wilder didn't give him any options. He, he heard his man, he sensed, he sensed the knockout, and he finished him. Great killer instinct by Wilder. Good left hand to finish it off. And there's a guy that's just been used to winning, and, you know, a guy is not on your level. Don't let him get on your level. That's pretty much... Exactly. One thing that's going to get theme. lost here is, among all these knockdowns in the first round is the fact that Wilder did come out patient. He came out establishing his left jab, and, and I like to see that in a fighter on his way up, you know, to maintain the maturity and the poise to not just come out wild and reckless when he knows he has the kind of power Wilder has because Wilder has the kind of power where, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll think he would come out blazing, guns blazing, but he established it first with the jab. All right, let's get the final numbers here. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes two minutes, ten seconds, round number one. We have a stoppage. He records tonight his 24th consecutive victory as a professional, his 24th consecutive KO win. He is still the undefeated bronze bomber, Deontay. Street as Mark Breland shows his approval, his trainer, from one Olympian to another. And family time. The victory by Wilder occurs in round number one. Hey, some people look at this and say, uh, what took you so long? Two minutes and ten seconds. <laughs> I know, right? You know, the hard part is the preparation for the fight was, was intense, and you know, the hard part is waiting. I, I'm a fighter. I love to fight. So when I, when I get a great challenge, then I'm up for it. You know, I, I had no nervousness. I felt good. I'm at home. You know, and uh, it was like eating cake. Anime, eat the cake, anime, eat the cake. Eat the cake, anime. Deontay, you're a bronze medalist in the Olympics in 08. Um, now you, you're stepping up the competition. You got a first round knockout. You think you're ready for the world class level now? You, you want? Is there anybody you want to call out? Is there anybody anybody in particular you want to fight a, a, a next or uh, or even fight for the titles or whatnot? How about this? Cliss goes. Don't retire. That's a new heavyweight in town. He's from Alabama. His name's the Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder. And for all the heavyweights that are looking and watching me right now, what's up, baby? <laughs> hey, Deontay, for people who wonder what has happened to the American heavyweight scene, do you think you're the answer for that? Do you feel you're going to be like a, in the top 15 opponent maybe next time out? I'm, I'm, I'm the answer to the, the solution. I'm the answer, baby. Ain't nobody else going to be able to do it, man. You know, I, this is a God-given talent for me. You know, um, you know, God said, ask for what you want, you shall receive. You shall give you the desires of your heart. It may not come when you want it, but it's always on time. And my time is about time. You know, now. You know, Deontay, you started working with Mark Breland, who's also an Olympian, a gold medalist, somebody who had the height advantage over his opponents like you do. How's, that, how's it been working with Mark Breland? It's, it's been great. Mark's been great. You know, um, he's he, he come all the way from New York and traveling all the way down, man. Um, it, it's been great. You know, we didn't have our slow parts. We didn't have our up part, but it's part of the game. And um, I think as I get on, on it, man, it, it, it's just love. This bomb squad. Bomb squad. My squad the best, man. I got the best team in the world. And we coming all the way to the top, man. That's just it's, it's no question asked. I got the power. I got the speed. I got the height, I got the talent, and most of all, I look good, baby. Hey, take a look at the monitor. You're doing the good damage here in round one. Did you sense that he just couldn't stay with you? Oh, most definitely, right off the bat. Once I, I knew, um, once he felt that jab, it was over with. Uh, and the speed was a killer, too, man. You know, I'm one of the most fastest heavyweight in the, in, in, in the division with, with the feet work as well, too. You know, he, he, once he felt that right hand, he definitely didn't want no more. He didn't want to throw a punch because he was so cautious. You know, most of you guys hear about my power. It ain't, it, you know, the magic gonna come whether you, you whether you want it or not. I'm gonna hit you. So you might well come in and give you your best, give you your all, because uh, the bronze bomber definitely gonna deliver the bombs, baby. All right, we're gonna have ourselves a second look at the knockdown. Tell us about your power. Nobody seems to be able to stay with you. Man, like I said, this, this is God-given talent, man. Um, you know, sometimes it scares me. I, I don't even know the measurement of my power, man. And sometimes when I hit these guys, I feel the structure of the bones in my hands. And when I feel that, I know it's a good night. Night-night! Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know, Deontay, 
You got a lot of power, and everybody knows that already. But one thing I, we noticed early in the fight, you wanted to establish your jab. You wanted to establish your height. You're not one of these guys that has all the power and comes in and gets reckless. You stayed very disciplined. Was that part of the plan early on? Did you know, I'm stepping up, let me set up the power first before just throwing it? Oh, yeah, most, most definitely. You know, when I first came out, you know, um, I was, m most definitely, I was wild. I was I was reckless. But, um, you know, due, due time, you know, you develop into a fighter. You know, you, you, you go all around. You see different ways. You see different styles. And, and you work with different people. And, and you know, I I just like to give a shout out to all my, my bomb squad, man. Uh, you know, uh, I don't have a lot of yes sirs and oh you do this. Everybody tells me the truth, you know. And um, I just have honest people in my group and tell me what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. You know, nobody nobody just just sucking up to me because of who I am. And um, and uh, we, we just establishing that that calmness now. I'm a whole different, totally fighter from when I first started. I know it. I feel uh, it when I'm in that ring. It's, we're gonna it's a jump whole in on you here, man. You can keep going. We're going to look forward to you stepping up in class. Hey, thanks for stopping by again. Again, congratulations on the win. We'll continue to look for more for Deontay Wilder, maybe back here in Alabama or maybe on the bigger screen.